Okay, so um, auxiliary views. First of all, what is an auxiliary view? Because to be able to draw it properly, I think we need to fully understand it. So I just have a definition of it here. An auxiliary view is an orthographic view taken in such a manner that the lines of sight are not parallel to the principal projection planes. Now that sounds uh, a good bit confusing, but if I were to mention horizontal and vertical planes, it might make a little bit more sense to you. Um, so if you just bear with me, I have the planes board set up over here, and I'll just swivel over, and I'll explain a little bit, uh, if I can, as to what I mean by that, okay? We'll try and zoom it in a little bit, and we'll see, we'll see if, uh, if, if it works, okay? Hopefully now it'll, it'll, it'll adjust. Yeah, there we go. Okay, right, so this is my planes board. You've all seen this before, haven't you? Yeah? yeah. This is my planes board, all right? And uh, I'll just get a, a pen there for pointing, all right? And whenever we're drawing orthographic views, we, we're, we're, we're conceptualizing what's, what's going on here. So what's in my yellow is my object, okay? And generally, uh, when I say orthographic views, what do I, what do I mean we're, we're drawing? What three views? Elevation, in view, and plan. Okay? So your elevation generally is looking in, and you can see it's projected onto the screen behind, directly behind. Okay? And if you look at this surface here, this surface is parallel to this surface here. This surface is also known as my vertical plane. It's up, it's in a vertical line. Okay? Our in view is the same. Okay? Right? I'm looking in in this direction projecting and I draw my in view on another vertical plane and the same thing, this surface here on the front is parallel to the vertical plane. Okay? For a plan, I'm looking down from above, projecting straight down onto my plan view. Okay? Like that. Okay? And again the same thing, this surface on the top here and this surface here, they're parallel to my, uh, what plane is this called? Horizontal plane, exactly. Now, when we start talking about auxiliaries, guys, okay, we start talking about planes that aren't parallel to the principal surfaces, okay? So I'm just going to drop in this piece of uh, perspex here to act as an example of an auxiliary plane, okay? So this is parallel to the bottom plane. I know it doesn't look at there, it's roughly parallel, okay? If you change the angle of it, okay, it now becomes an auxiliary plane. Okay? It can be changed that way, it can be changed that way, or it can be changed and dropped in at an angle like that at the back. Is that okay? And just to try and make, help you make sense of that, <coughs> hopefully this will make a little bit of a difference. If I unfold it and drop it onto the back here like so, okay, you can see my principal views there. I'll just move that for you. Okay? So plan, in view and, sorry, plan, in view, and elevation, okay? And the auxiliaries are used. When will we use an auxiliary, guys? For getting the true shape of something, and the true shape of something is probably when we're not looking parallel to it in either plan, elevation, or in view, okay? Right, so I'll just zoom out and we'll go back to, we'll go back to the question and we'll give it a go, all right? Right, I'll just zoom you out a bit more now. So the question I have is in the book. We'll go through it in a few minutes in, in the book, all right? I'm just gonna move this away and we'll talk about the question that we have, all right? And this is the problem that we're presented with. We have our elevation, plan, and end view, and we're asked to draw, um, we're asked to draw an auxiliary view showing the true shape of two sides, okay? Well, there's actually three sides that we could uh, get the true shape of. Okay, can you uh, direct me to the surfaces that we can get the true shape of in elevation? We've got this guy, because if we can see the angle he makes to the horizontal plane here, they're not parallel, so the only way we can get a true shape is by setting up an auxiliary view. Are there any other ones we can get true shapes of? The guy on top here, the same. Look at the angle he's making. It's not parallel, okay? And one more this guy here okay again not parallel okay so to set it up what we do is we project lines at 90 degrees 
from uh, the surface that we want to get the true shape of. Okay, so I'm going to start doing this in red. I might borrow a set square off on you. Does anyone have just a spare set square there? Uh, I'll take a 60 Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to work with this surface here. This surface here, and we'll set it up. And I'll just do one example. You can go off and do the rest, okay? So I'm going to project all my lines down parallel to it, okay? Right? All down parallel. I'll move my T-square. I don't actually need it now for a while. We're a little bit tight here, but we'll manage, okay? And I'm going to have to go below my plan, okay? But I'm not going to go through it. Okay, I'll be as neat as I can. All my points are brought down. Like so. And we'll set up what's called an X1, Y1 line. That's after budging on me a little bit. Okay. And the other one is back here. Right? I'll be setting up a new x1 y1 line and that's basically the plane that's going to be parallel so i'll get my black again and set up my new x1 y1 line here like so okay at what angle is it making to these red lines lads 90 degrees okay x1 y1 right and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to continue i'm going to project these red lines down a little bit more okay so i've got all those lines projected down. What do I need to mark out on those lines? The measurements, yeah. The heights or the widths or whatever, whatever you'd call it, okay? So, where do you think I get those measurements from? Your plan. Your plan, yeah, exactly. Now, a rule of thumb, when we're dealing with auxiliary views, if I project from my elevation, I get my widths from the plan. If I project from plan, I'll get my heights from elevation. Okay? So that's, that's my rule of thumb. Okay? Um, so I'm going to work here and get my height for this point here. Okay? Now there are two points. Okay? And I'm going to label this A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now, if you look at it, A actually is going to have two points. There's the point at the front, which is A here, but A also has a point all the way back there, which is we're going to call A1. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to get my point here for A, and I'm going to mark it off. So this gives me, and I'll get a different color pen here, this gives me A, and this guy here is A1. Okay, right? I'm going to be doing the same for B. Okay? B is the same. Project down, it's the same distance. So B is going to be here and here. And what are we going to find? What are these distances all going to be? The exact same, look, because we only have the one width. So what I can actually do is I can just project straight across like so. Like so, right? Right? And then it's a case of heaving in my shape, okay? With my black pen, all right? So A goes to B, B goes to C, C goes to D, and so on, okay? And mark it along like that. And what we have to try and figure out is what points we can see and what points we can't see. So we're kind of looking in, in this direction. So we'll be able to see A, so that can be a full line, okay? Now this is the, the difficult bit, trying to visualise it. We can see B, okay, so B is going to be a heavy line. We can see C, can't we, looking in at it. Can we see D? We're looking in at roughly, that's the angle we're looking in at. So we can see D, okay. Can we see E? Yeah. And can we see F? No? Yeah, you're spot on because if you look at the angle we're looking in at, F is hidden by point E up here. So what do I do with this line? 
It's a dashed line, yeah. We have to show the detail, but it can't be a full line, okay? Now, let's identify our surface whose true shape we're looking for. I suppose, first of all, we should have identified it in um, plan and elevation. So it's this surface is what we're looking for, surface A. And this is the true shape of surface A here, okay? <coughs> surface A. That is my true shape because we're looking in at it at 90 degrees. Is that okay? Not too difficult. Okay.